Good morning, everybody. This is Susan from the Fatigue Clinic. Um, we're going to do a quick video this morning on how to make a tea from scratch. Uh, basically, it's, it's good for your immune system, which right now we know that's a good thing. So I'm going to reposition this camera so you can see what we're doing. Okay, I think, yeah, I think that'll get you. Okay, I've already got my teapot filled with water. And we like to put lemon or lime in it because it's going to pull more of the medicine out for you. And we've also added honey. Um, we try to use organic products. Um, this is my loose tea, my dried tea. You can actually grow these herbs at home and, and cultivate them yourself. But what I want to do is I want to add to it. So I have actually peeled a couple of cuties and put them in, in here. And the next thing we have is a ginger root, which you can actually peel this ginger root. Um, grab my knife. Um, it's really funny, you can peel it and it heals itself. So it's, it's not, um, it's not far-fetched for you to understand how, how a good herb this is to use. Um, so you can peel it and you can actually put it in the freezer if you th don't think you'll use enough of it. And I'm just gonna cut it in some bits like this. And I'm gonna put it in here because we are gonna take this mortal and pedestal and we're gonna kind of crunch this stuff up a little bit. Um, the goal is to activate the medicine in these things. So when I put it in this tea, the water is going to absorb it all. And we're gonna have a nice tea to drink on for the rest of the day. So we've got our vitamin C is in here. We got, let me get that ginger root real good. We've got uh, ginger, which is an anti-inflammatory. And I'm gonna take it right here. And I think we're gonna just put this little sucker right here because I've got so much juice in here from the vitamin C. I wanna make sure that I don't have an issue with it. So we're gonna try to get all these good stuff in here. There's some right there. And I'm kind of full right now, so we'll just put these in the individual tea glasses. The next thing is some garlic, okay? Garlic, you have to crush garlic if it's gonna work. It activates, um, it activates allicin, I believe, is what's in it. That is so good for us. Let me get, and so I have one clove of garlic. I used to have these 100-year-old twins that came in the ER when I worked in the ER. They weren't there a lot because they were so freaking healthy. And one day I asked them what they did. And they told me their secret was they took a clove of garlic and lemon juice every morning. They weren't on any medicines. Usually they were in there for an accident or something. They were very viable. They dressed just alike. It was kind of funny. They drove. I mean, they were quite an amazing pair of sisters. So I'm just chopping this stuff up really good. I'm shoving it in that tea bag. I want all that liquid to get out of there. So there we go. So what I've got, I have a nice herbal tea mixture of cinnamon, spearmint, um, ginger. I've got a great dose of vitamin C. I've got honey. The honey is best if it's around your area within 50 miles. And I'm going to add a couple of tinctures. Okay, ashwagandha is a great tincture. Overall, it's called an apogen. We put a couple of drops in there. And then we're going to turn around turmeric. Okay, turmeric. I want a little bit of turmeric tincture in there. Got my ginger root. Got my turmeric. So, take this. And just kind of poke at it and make sure everything is dispersed in this bag. And we're going to let that sit for about 15 minutes, okay? And we're going to come back and we're going to have a, a nice tea for the day. Um, always cover your tea for 10 to 15 minutes because the medicine will go up in the air. You see how it's already changing colors and absorbing the herbs right through there? Um, the medicine will go up in the air if you don't. Um, there is tea, teas to work correctly. You need to use them approximately three times a day. We have teas for everything you can think about. There is nothing you really can't do with a tea. If you prefer this to be cold, you can certainly put ice on it. It's just as good as it is hot. Um, but that's just a little, a little tip for this COVID-19, you know, 19 thing running around. 
uh, to help build your immune system. It's easy, it's quick, you can do it at home. You probably already have a lot of these things at home. The tinctures you have to watch, um, some have, are based in alcohol. When I make my tinctures at home, that's, I use um, 100 proof to do it. Um, but there are none alcohol-based ones if you prefer. Um, you simply got to look at your company and you've got to make sure it has the USPD label on it. That means it is what it is. Um, or they have some type of, um, some type of internal quality control. The goal is to make sure what this bottle says is what this bottle is. So um, try this tea. It's a really good tea. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I also put spearmint leaf in it. Um, spearmint leaf is an amazing, um, it works with dilatation. It just makes things have a nice crisp taste to them. Um, so try this tea and um, we'll try to put together another one so you can find some other things in your kitchen you can use for teas. Have a great day.